Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel. Welcome back to the new and somewhat improved Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. I, as you might be able to tell from just this little bit here, I fixed the focus on the camera. Stuff in the back is way blurry now, but if you bring the stuff up close, it's nice and shiny. Or as shiny as a Logitech C920 gets. And I've added a few sound drops. I've given myself access to a few sound drops. So that I can play those instead of screaming in your ears if I pull something amazing. We've got two packs today. Two packs to open today. One is Battle Bond. Uh, because I just had a whole lot of fun opening that. And that was a that was a that was a good time. And I it was kind of weird to do it as the first pack on the channel when I never opened one before, but I had so much fun with it I wanted to get back around to it eventually. And the other one is a Modern Horizons pack, which frankly I can't believe I haven't opened. Uh, on here yet. Modern Horizons is one of my favorite sets uh, and I cannot wait for Modern Horizons 2 this summer. It's going to be a blast. Uh, these two packs however come to us courtesy of I hope I'm not butchering this name. This is always the way I've said it in my head. So correct me if I'm wrong and if I'm corrected I will never get it wrong again but it, th these two packs come to me courtesy of Lobabot. Uh, long time, long time viewer of the channel. And he sent along a note with the uh, with the cash he sent. It says, hey Uncle Roundy, Lobabot here. I really appreciate your MTG videos and I thought I would send you a little something to buy more packs with. For my viewing pleasure only, obviously. Well, obviously. A little encouragement to say keep up the good work even though the views aren't always there. Yeah, yeah, I always feel guilty bringing that up it's it's a whole thing i should really write an essay about it it's not something i can talk about extemporaneously very well but uh maybe i should write like a like a post about it uh, oh that that's my phone peeking into the shot there uh i want you to know that i'm back watching your videos every single day when you post them anyway cheers man and like we say in french a la prochaine which i think means like see you next time or something but yeah let's uh let's rip into these packs that come to us Courtesy from Mr. Lobabot. Uh, whenever I have two packs of years of different origin, it will be my custom to open the oldest one first. And so that's going to be Battle Bond here. Are we going to get anything good out of this old Battle Bond pack? This is only my second Battle Bond pack ever. Uh, the first one had a pretty good rare in it. Uh, not, not something that was like worth the entire cost of the pack, but still uh, an acceptably good rare. Let's go ahead and... And toss that and get this up front here. We've got ourselves a lovely little mirror token. Uh, is this one of the packs where the rare is going to be up front? I may need to I may need to switch it out. Let's see. We've got a land here. So yeah, I feel like the rare is going to be up front. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it. See if my instincts are not correct on this score. I'm going to go ahead and put the rare in the back. And then one, two, three commons. Or uncommons, rather. And bop. So this should start us in the common slot with the cor with the Kite Sail Corsair, which has flying as long as it's attacking. I think that's a reprint from Ixalan, if I recall right. We've got the Silver Chase Fox. Everybody loves a good Silver Fox. Exile Target Enchantment. Wow. Can be sacrificed to do that. That's not bad. We've got Bloodborne Scoundrels. A Vampire Rogue. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses two life. And you gain two life. Oh, assist. Another player can pay for up to five of this spell's cause. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a great effect for uh, six mana 4-4. Uh, four, four. But, you know, if somebody else helps you pay for it, maybe, maybe. Won't be too bad. Got the little auger spree here, plus four, minus four. The old Rakdos jury review. Combo attack. <laughs> Combo attack. Two target creatures. Your team controls each deal damage equal to their power. To target creature. Yeah, that's a. Uh, the Battle Bond went in big on the whole team aspect. Bull Rush Bruiser. If your team controls another warrior, Bull Rush gains first strike when it attacks until end of turn. Got the Charging Rhino. Charging Rhino can't be blocked by more than one creature. That's a. That's a crazy looking. Got some crazy looking spots on that Rhino there. That's one of those times when you can really tell. You know, they always tell you like a Rhino's horn is made of hair. It's like. Something that can gore you that badly is just made of hair. That's uh, hard to believe. Spellweaver duo. Uh, another assist spell, it looks like. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. Yeah, the assist spells, I see. Got a uh, 
We got Vanilla Club Security here, an Aetherborn Warrior. <laughs> uh, seems like it might be from Kaladesh or Aether Revolt or something, based on the flavor text there. And got a Peace Strider, Construct Artifact Creature, gains three life when you enter the battlefield. Hey, Blaze! Red plus X. Blaze deals X damage to any target. Hey, I don't mind that too much. We're on the uncommons now. That might that might have a nice little place in my mono red burn deck. I like that a lot. Okay. Culling Dice. An artifact. Two mana. Tap. Sacrifice a creature, but a charge counter on Culling Dice. And for one and sacrifice Culling Dice, draw a card for each charge counter on it. Ooh, ooh. A good little sacrifice engine there. Get you some, get you some of that card draw. Sacrifice them tokens. Morbid Curiosity, something I have about what the rare is going to be in this pack. Black, black, plus one, a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice an artifact or creature. Then you draw cards equal to the converted mana cost of the sacrifice permanent. And that is going to make our rare today. Ooh, <laughs> this actual, oh man, this is going to go great in my Rada deck. I was going to need to buy this, but now... Looks like I've just pulled it out of a Battle Bond pack. We've got one of the Battle Bond lands. Spire Garden. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. And you tap, you add red or green, which is the exact colors of the Rada Heart of Kel deck I'm building. Wow. Wow. Super convenient and a great pull. Oh, that is, well, today is going great so far. Oh, I'm always happy to get a rare land. And especially when it's one that happens to coincide with with whatever commander deck I happen to be building at the moment. So yeah, there's our Battle Bond pack. We got a rare land out of it that is uh, probably worth a good bit of change there. And now it's on to Modern Horizons. Oh hoo boy, Modern Horizons. I do love this set. There is all kinds of... This set is just flavor, flavor, flavor. Flavor all the way down. Flavor for days. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, everything's... Yeah, everything's already in the front with this one. So we've got... Uh, another another artifact token another artifact creature token a construct gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control actually one of my co-workers has an urza deck that makes this token so i might just give this token to him uh it's the least i can do for uh <laughs> buying a computer off of him yesterday uh oh and the art card is backwards that's weird it's on backwards oh and the art card is morophon the uh Morphon the Boundless. <laughs> wow, if, if only we were to pull a regular Morphon in this pack. That would be wild. Uh, okay, so, okay, the token. Okay, I just, it was, okay, everything was in the back. Oh, and everything is situated as it should be. So we've got Wall of 1000 Cuts here. Uh, <laughs> a fun little flavor wall, although not one that is in my Arcades the Strategist deck because its power is a little too high for that. We got the Orcish Hellraiser, Raisin Hell. Being an Echo Coster, when Orca Hellraiser dies, it deals two damage to target player or planeswalker. We got the Winding Way, the Long and Winding Way. That snake looks ready to strike. Choose creature land. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all cards of the chosen type. Reveal this way into your hand. Hey, not bad for a sorcery there. If you're, ooh, actually, actually, that'd be good for the Rod of Deck too. Maybe get those lands in my hand. Get landfall going. Defile. Good little common there. Gets minus one, minus one until eat until end of turn for each swamp you control. Yeah, that can be a really, really harsh late game spell. We got the goblin champion here. We are the goblin champions. My friends, recruit the worthy. A white instant. A buyback of three. All right, good deal. A stream of thought. A blue sorcery. Target player puts the top four, mills their top four cards. You shuffle up to four cards from your graveyard in your library. That's some... Oh, I love the Seb McKinnon art. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I had wish I'd had the money at the time to participate in his uh, Kickstarter. Uh, get myself one of those Damnation playmats. That's a, that's a good-looking piece. You go check out Seb McKinnon's Damnation artwork if you haven't seen it. It's, it's amazing. We got the Amorphous Axe here. I think this is in Commander Legends as well. Diabolic Edict. Target player sacrifices a creature for just black and a one. Not uh, not too shabby. Phantasmal form. Uh, until end of turn, up to two target creatures each have base power and toughness. 3-3. Three, three. They gain flying and they become blue illusions in addition to their other types. And you draw a card. All right. Moving on to our uncommon slot. We got the Ice Hide Golem here. Uh, that is one snow mana. 
a 2-2 snow artifact creature. This was a lot weirder at the time. Now Kaldheim is out and there's there's snow stuff for days. But this was a little more unusual of a pull back in the day. We got the Ore Scale Guardian. Red, red, five. A 4-4 four, four dragon. This spell costs one less to cast for each land card in your graveyard. Oh, interesting. And it's got Flying and Haste. Huh. A dragon's loyalty cannot be earned, but it can be bought. I like the flavor of that. That's... That's a fun one. Frostwalk Bastion, a Snowland. Uh, huh, interesting. Okay. Tap add colorless for one generic and one snow mana. Until end of turn, Frostwalk Bastion becomes a 2 3 construct artifact creature, which is still a land. And when it deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature, and it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. It walks up to it and it says, hey, buddy, freeze. <laughs> oh, Lord, that was terrible. Okay, so now, uh, we got. We got a couple more cards. Maybe we got a foil in here, but what is our what is our rare going to be for the pack? Lightning Skelemental. Red, red, black. A 6-1 elemental skeleton with trample and haste. Whenever Lightning Skelemental deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards. And at the beginning of the end step, you sacrifice Lightning Skelemental. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird, mechanically kind of goofy thing. But uh, also... Also, uh, not a super valuable one, as I recall, but that's okay. And back behind it, we've got a snow-covered forest. You get your you get your lovely little snow-covered floor land in every Modern Horizons pack. Well, that was a fun one. I love Modern Horizons. I love the flavor of it, and I am happy to have it supplied by a good old friend of the channel, Lava Bob. But I think the big win today here is the Spire Garden from Battle Bond. That's immediately going into the Rada Heart of Keld deck. That's a that's a happy day right there. So yeah, yeah, that's we got we got people providing packs for the channel now. That's that's awesome. And I am super thrilled by it. And thank you very much, Lababot, whose name I hope I am saying correctly. Uh, maybe it's Lababot, uh, or he is French, maybe it's Lababo. Who knows? But uh, that is all for Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. And uh, I will see you guys next time, whenever that may be, for more pack cracking goodness.